Hello friends, welcome to QA Automation World. In this video, we are going to see how we can use TestNG soft assert in Selenium WebDriver automation script. So here, soft assert. So what is the difference between soft assert and hard assert? So if we use TestNG hard assert and if TestNG hard assert fails, your script will stop at that moment your script will be terminated if you use soft assert then your script doesn't stop even if assert fails then how your script will be marked as a fail or pass so soft assert all method collect your all assert result and accordingly at if, even if there is one failure your script will be marked as a fail so let's try to understand this particular thing with the code so we will see on the UI how we are going to do that so we are going to validate this projects text and download text on the UI of this particular website and for that we are going to use soft asset so I will just write some placeholder class my soft asset test one or test finish okay so i will create one placeholder method public void test soft assert okay. so i will annotate it with at the rate test fine so i have just handy code to launch the application same application that i just showed you let me import the fine so i can launch the application with this code let's go to the projects tab and get the expert so so okay you can see one matching node this code will give you the control of or expert of the project step okay so I'm just going to put driver dot find element by dot xpath so this is my dot get text so because I want to compare the text fine so this is my first tab I want to do the same thing for download tab as well so let's find out the xpath for download tab okay so this is the xpath for download tab okay so I will just put some sample system dot out dot print ln statement to check the our flow verify tab 1 and uh, for second tab verify tab 2 now let's uh, get the text in a variable tab 1 okay and the same will be applicable for tab 2 okay so now let's try to use first hard assert assert dot assert equals and here the tab 1 will be your actual text and expected text I'm just going to say ABC so as we can see this assert is going to fail let's see if this assert is going to fail then will our script will be going to execute this particular line or these two lines or not I used this hard assert and this is for second tab text x y z so I have verified both the text of tab with the help of hard assert we are very soon we are going to replace it with soft asset let's run it 
let's see what happens with the result okay okay let's see the result okay seems like one script is failed this is expected but what is the actual result or flow so you can see verify one tab one tab one and uh, assert is failed this assert is failed you can see uh, expected ABC but found projects okay so now what about this line number 21 so so this means that this is a hard assert and since we have used has hard assert your script is failed at line number 19 and rest of the code was not getting executed so now let's let's use the soft assert let's replace this with the soft assert so what i will do i will just create one soft assert like soft assert object okay so my shop is equal to new shop assert okay so i just created an object so i will replace the hard assert with soft assert i know this script is going to fail because the actual value and expected value is not matching but let's see about this line this line is getting executed or not so that that will be a proof that script is not stopping at your failure so let's run it okay browser is launched and now the validation will happen so let's see the result script is okay nice script is passed Big, though the asserts are failed so let's let's go and see okay verifying tab 1 verifying tab 2 but still your script marked as a pass the reason is we have not collected all the assert in assert all method so now now as per the existing result this assert got executed this assert got executed even if asserts are failing your your scripts marked as a pass because we have not collected all the result now we have collected all the result so let's see now what will be the result okay let's visit the test engine now your script is marked as a fail and at the same time your both asserts got executed so this is what the use of soft assert when your script have uh, as multiple assert and those are not dependent on each other have, or separate values needs to be very verif verified you should go ahead and use the soft assert at the same time make sure that you you use the assert all method it will collect all the result of your assert so this is your first assert this is your second assert if any one is failing then your script will be marked as fail with the help of assert all this is how we should use the soft assert of test ng in your script yeah that's all for this particular video we will see hard assert in different video thank you